What's up, guys? I thought I'd do... This video is not going to be a tier list, but it's going to be the Megazord with the best ultimate attack now. So this is going to be a nice, quick video, probably. And we're going to tell you why that ultimate attack is good. In this video, we're going from worst to best. So let's start off with the worst ultimate. Black Dragon. This character's ultimate is... He doesn't take damage, but the effect doesn't last as long as you would expect. Maybe if it was like a like an 8 second effect, I would be happy with it, but it's barely even 5. So I'm kind of mad about that, but Black Dragon as of right now it has one of the worst specials well ultimates in the game, and it's kind of sad. So he is our what is it? Like 7 zords. So number 7 goes to Dragon Zord. Number 6, ay, Goldar. Believe it or not, 6th, 5th, well, if you say it's a tie for 5th, it's technically 5th and 6th. But 6 is going to go to Goldar. But Goldar's damage is at 7,000 now. His special did go up from 5,000 to 7,000, which is good. But it puts him really low on the ultimate list. Along with Thunder, we tested Thunder. We saw how much damage he does. He only does, again, 7,000 damage. Tying with Goldar for the best ultimate on the roster. So, 6th and 5th has now been taken. So, our top 4 specials. This one's a toughie. Dino, I'm putting at 4th. Even though his sword is like, eh. It still gets the job done when you corner them and you go for an ultra, ultimate. Uh, great stun effect. Definitely does 8,000 worth of damage. I'm pretty sure it went up in damage now because I've seen it. Especially when it crits. It does do a good amount of damage. But I'm going to put Dino at 4 for utility. And how it's like kind of like a better assist because ultimate because A, it gets stun. Good enough. Thunder and Goldar give that? No. They gone. That's why Thunder and Goldar and Mega Black Dragon are all at the bottom of this ultimate list. And Dino is at least fourth to begin with. So I appreciate Dino kind of taking the fourth spot. So let's get to our top three ultimates. So starting off, number three. Samurai gets the third slot because, A, he is a situational Zord. And by situational, I mean you have to be cornered just to use it. And I got to say, it's good and all, and it does have a silent breaker, which is awesome. So some of these ultimates are getting those types of effects. But Samurai goes down to a three, even though his damage could go higher. I put it at a three just because it still does almost good amount of damage than Dino and Thunder when you can actually pull it off fully. It's a great attack. That's what I like about it. But I put it at number three spot for a reason because it does cover the range, especially when you're cornered. You push your opponent so far back, you can start doing work. And usually this is this ultimate's going to be used more for the far back game than anything. Now that Samurai got this update. Number two, Delta Squad Megazord. His special did go down, but the utility ain't that bad either. The shots still go, and he still does at least uh, around... 10,000 damage, which is awesome. A uh, pretty strong for the Zord, and that's not even counting crits. So it does help uh, you get the nice purple damage when needed. The Zord definitely has improved. Well, the special hasn't improved, but the special is normal, and this character fights how he's supposed to, like a normal Zord where you won't need to rely on the ultimate so much. So I appreciate that about Delta Squad. Now let's get to the number one ultimate attacker, ultimate special and that's predazord predazord has legit shocked me today after the stream blew my mind the fact that he has this nice hammerhead shark attack right here here's the hammerhead and it does about thirteen thousand damage and then when it crits it does forty eight thousand damage on purple too proving that this ultimate is actually the number one ultimate in this game now tommy is a different story i see what he does he does like a thousand damage a hit so if he's doing around like eight hits he's doing around eight thousand and i would put tommy probably over dino honestly for his ultimate it's a cool ultimate but tommy's dragon zord's ultimate just feels like it's an eight because i've seen how it does it does like a thousand a pop when he's destroying and, and he looks like he only does it eight hits maybe so the how many hits it does, it does like a thousand hits. So that's why I kind of put Tommy probably over Dino. 
which would make out of the top eight. Dino would be five. D Dragon would be four. Samurai would be three. Delta would be two. And Preda's ultimate would be number one. A great damage today. Really shows what this character can do. And I'm actually really excited for tomorrow's stream to test out even more of Dragonzord in general just to see where he's at. And that's, after we test Dragzord, we will have a better example on the tier list for Zord. So I'll make sure to give you guys the rundown on that. But thanks for watching this quick video, guys. Always like and subscribe. Be good. Stay safe. Special shout out to our boy, Mr. Kyle Weller, the Psycho Donator. And, you know, our shout out to Master Donator, Marcus Worry. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And stay tuned for Dragonzord tomorrow at 7 p.m. Peace.